Monday and nail of the week. Super excited about this design. Check it out first. Isn't that just stunning and gorgeous? I love a marble look and this was done with no water. This is a no water marble and I love the way it turned out. And I am doing this one in honor of Talia. It's called Mint Manny and they do it in the month of May. Today is May 29th. It's actually my son's 21st birthday. Very emotional day today. A lot of things just going through my head. I remember the day they laid him on my belly. I blinked my eye and he's 21 today. He is a man. He has made me very proud. He is my best friend and I love him with everything in me. He has turned out to be such a wonderful young man, but this is a nail video, but just wanted to let you guys know it is my son's birthday. It is May 29th, so I did do the design in May, Mint Manny for Talia. You won't get this till June, uh, the first week in June, so I apologize for that. But I did do a Mint Manny last year, too. If I do find the video, I'll link it down below for you guys. I did it the year before, too, but I wasn't on YouTube then. But I've been doing it for two years. This is my third year that I've done this for um, cancer research and in honor of Talia. So I will link it down in the box. I will do the hashtag and everything for her. But I just love the way it turned out, love the colors. It reminds me of the Caribbean Sea. If you think of the Caribbean Sea, like if you look at photos, it, the water looks green. So it just makes me think of that. And I just love the way it turned out. I love a marble look. It reminds me of an actual marble. I just love it. It's so beautiful, so easy to do. You definitely gotta try this technique out. You'll love it. I learned it from Robin Moses. She's an amazing woman. She's the one that I got started in the Mint Manny. She is very inspired by Talia. She used to, uh, you know, communicate with Talia and everything and her family, I believe. And Talia was big into nails and all of that. So I love that Robin does the Mint Manny's for Talia. And I started doing them about three years ago. So if, like I said, if I do find the video from last year that I did, I will link it down below for you guys to go see. And then this year, I love the way it turned out as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this design as much as mine. And if you would like to do a water marble in your favorite colors, definitely try it out. It's super easy and fun. Just practice on paper if you have to start with. But anyways, let's get started on today's design. If you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and definitely share around my channel since I teach keto and I want to help the whole world get healthy. But also, I love to show my nails, toes, and outfits of the day. And wait till you see the outfit that goes with these. Let's get started on today's design. Love you all. Good night and God bless. Hey everyone, so here's what I chose to go with for this week's nail design. A beautiful no water marble mint mani for Talia. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to Nail of the Week and another beautiful spring look. This one is going to be exciting. I am doing this in honor of Talia. It's called a mint mani for May. You guys won't get this till after May, it'll be in June, but I explained the whole thing in my intro. So I'll just get right into showing you the products. I am going to do a no water marble. Robin Moses is famous for this and it's so fun to do and you don't gotta use any water and the technique is beautiful. So I've started the nails off here with a sheer pink. Um, not one of my favorites, but I do like it. I normally use the Beige of Reason by OPI, but this is the only one I could find. They were sold out when I got there. So this one, OPI, is called Bubble Bath. That's what I did put on the nails, and I'm gonna use this with the colors because I want some of that openness, and I'll show you what I mean when I do it. And then I'm gonna be using two shades of a green because this is a Mint Manny. So the lighter color one is actually called Mint Crush. It's a beautiful mint. And then this darker color here is called Jaded, I believe. And that one's from Dollar Tree. That one is the LA Colors. And this one is Milani. So I'm gonna be mixing those two colors along with the bubble bath, along with the French white, the Kiss Gel from the Dollar Tree. And I'll be using Robin Moses's brush, the wand. And it's robinmosesnailart.com is how you order these brushes. They are amazing. They are made of red sable hair. She has designed these brushes and you really can get some beautiful techniques and art down by learning and watching her channel and using her brush. I highly recommend that you buy and order these brushes. They come fast. The 
Uh, shipping is awesome and they are only $10 a piece or 18 for both that and the other one is called the unicorn it's a striper now yes this one is dirty she recommends you keep them dirty in between I do my nails so often she said to keep them dirty in between and then you clean them in 100% acetone um, you want to dip it in the acetone and roll the brush like that to clean it that's how she tells you to do it so these will stay and last forever well for years and years so and then through the design, I'm going to be using this right here. This is a micro glitter I get from Joanne Fabrics. I'm gonna add in a little bit of clear with it to add in the glitter, just kind of run it through because that looks so pretty when you do a marble design. So I am going to get started. I say so too much. <laughs> I'm gonna get started on some of them and I will return and show you all. Alrighty, everybody. So I've got the water marble going with no water. Isn't this gorgeous let me show you how I'm doing this I already started to do it and then I thought oh shoot I gotta film so what you want to do is you start with that bubble bath that sheer pink and you want a super thick coat of it but I'm gonna teach you how to take a lot of it off because you're gonna think how is that gonna dry I've already done like three coats of it you know all together real quick I'm gonna show you on the next nail this one I was already doing it and I thought I was recording then you're gonna drip down your colors I'm starting with the lightest color you can do it however you want I'm just starting with the lightest color and then I'm gonna go to the darker of my greens, my mints, and then I'm gonna do white in there. You can drop them anywhere you want, however you want. I always wipe the white one off though because I don't wanna put that back in the bottle. And then you're gonna grab your brush. I'll come up to the camera like this. And you're just gonna set your brush down and however you want, just start playing with the paint. Just go through, but be careful because you can overdo a design too. So just be careful and you wanna do it immediately because after a while it gets tacky and you lose that beautiful look. So just do you know as much as you want, play till you're done. I think that's great right there. And here's what we're gonna do now to get rid of a lot of this paint. You're gonna go to the side of the finger. You're gonna go like this, pull, cap it, like that. Do it one more time, you're gonna pull, cap. That's taking off a bunch of the paint. Then we're gonna go to this side and same thing. We're gonna pull, cap, using the paint to just put it right back on off your finger. We'll try the end like that. That's good. That's how you wanna do it. And it gets rid of most of the paint, levels it, and it will dry super duper fast. I kind of bumped one of the nails over here, but that's okay, it still looks all right. So let's go on to the next one again. Make sure I am doing this so you guys can see this good. All right, so we want a nice thick coat very thick coat of this sheer pink and show you because that first one I wasn't able to show you don't worry like I said because you take the sides off when you're done you want this very thick to get that water marble look I wish it wasn't so bright in here I don't get this I even took the light down I don't get why it's so bright so I hope you guys are seeing this okay and you can always clean up around the edges don't worry about that okay so a very thick coat hopefully you're seeing that very thick coat and then we're gonna drop our lightest color, just dots wherever you want, wherever you see fit. And then we're gonna drop the darkest green of the two, that mint. And then we're gonna put some white in there. And again, when I do the white, I always wipe the white off before I put it back in the jar, just because it's gonna mix the colors, so that's not good. Put a little bit more white in there. Okay, wipe it off. We're gonna grab the brush some of my nails are wet and that's why I'm working the way I am. Okay, again, I'm gonna start over here. I'm just gonna start swirling the color, just playing with it. Just play and have fun while it's still wet. Play as much as you want, but if you overplay, it will not be pretty. It will not look like a water marble, so be really careful. If you get a color that seems like there's too much in there, well, guess what? You can pull some of that green into it just like that. Isn't that cool? That is fun, and you see it's very thick. So now I am done, that's where I want it. So I'm gonna go to the side here, pull some of the paint, cap it, wipe my finger, go on this side, same thing, pull, cap, make sure you're capping your color onto the nail. So it goes onto the side, cap, go onto the side. Now it is perfectly level, let me make sure over here, and then it will dry really, really fast just like normal, I'll be putting the sesh feed on top, but it'll dry much faster when you pull the color off. 
but isn't that amazing, you guys? I love the no water marble. It isn't a huge mess. Sure, I got some on my finger here, but I'll be able to just get that off with acetone real quick. It's a lot better than having to use a, uh, what do they call it, a um, barrier or tape or whatever and going into water and having such a big mess to clean up. Right here, you need no water, you just do it yourself and it's gorgeous. So I'm going to let these dry and then we're gonna get ready to put the glitter through it in spots I feel fit. I will get some done and I will return. Okay, now it really is making me feel like this is like an ocean look. It almost like has the sand because of the gold. And then those colors almost remind me of the ocean. I don't know, it's just gorgeous with that gold glitter. So I've just mixed it with clear here. I poured some, I'll put some clear. I used a top coat, probably a base coat would be even better because it wouldn't dry as fast. But we've got just one finger to do here. So you can just put it anywhere you want. So I'm gonna dip in here to the glitter. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit here. And I'm gonna run a little bit through this lighter color there. And then I'm gonna do a little bit, kind of where these lines are, I like this look here. Pull it there. And I think I'm gonna pull some here. And maybe just a tad up in here, wherever you feel fit. But I don't know, like this look here makes me feel kind of like a beach scene, kind of, I don't know. Just because it looks like the, the gold is the sand and then you got the waves, like the ocean. I love it. Aren't these gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. Now this was a much quicker video, but that's good. It looks like I spent all day and I'm going to get tons of compliments, but this was a quick design to do. So I am definitely going to get these top coated. Now I'm gonna let these dry first. Top coat it with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. That is my most favorite from Sally's. And then once everything is done, I will come back and show all of you the end product. All righty, I am all done and I am loving this one, you guys. It's reminding me of like the Caribbean Sea. I don't know, just with that green, it reminds me of the green waters. Like when you look at pictures of the Caribbean, the water almost looks green. And then with the gold, it reminds me of the sand. I don't know. This is just beautiful. But what a beautiful mint mani for a beautiful cause. So sad that we lost Talia, but it does help um, children with cancer. So that's why I did this. <clears throat> Sorry you are getting it late, but like I said, I did do it on May 29th today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this design. Definitely give it a try. Try it in all different colors. Try it in your two favorite colors with white or even with black. Use silver glitter, red glitter, whatever you want. Water marbling is so fun and so easy when you do it without the water like I did. I hope all of you are doing well. Everybody take care. God bless and I will see each and every one of you in my very next video.